I'm going to share with you this tool that I found on the Bricklink forums that allows you to import a reference image into Bricklink Studio. And we'll go over a few examples of how to do that. I'll link to this tool down in the description. For the most part, the instructions are pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, basically, you want a PNG file, and then you want to figure out the image width and height. And what I do is I usually use the, the, the centimeter and then convert it to L draw units. And all you do for that is, uh, let's see, what's our first image? Just take this and then, let's see, that's 16.93 centimeters. And then you just multiply that by the 25 and that'll be your uh, image width and L draw units. I've uh, already made a cheat sheet. So I'll go ahead and paste these in. Then what do we want to call this? Bunker, I guess. And we'll call it Fallout Bunker. Uh, choose our file. Uh, yeah, it was PNG. Uh, this this HTML file is just running locally on my computer, but whenever you click on this, it'll download a file. And then what we want to do is we want to copy that, and it tells you right here where to paste it. And I've already got that folder open. Okay, and it's in there. And I already have Studio running. And it should, I think it should automatically update. Oh, no, wait, I need to be in custom parts. Never mind. Yep, there we go. Boop. Okay, we got that one. Let's move on to the next one. So we'll go back here. Use my cheat sheet I already made. What is this mech repairs? We'll just call it. Yeah, we'll just call it. I don't know, repairs. Mech repairs. Choose file. Uh, I've got our PNG download. Uh, open up our folders. Repairs. Paste that in. That should have refreshed. Oh, kind of huge. Okay, these are kind of big. Let's <laughs> move that one off to the side a bit. I guess let's move on to the next one. What are we going to call this one? Just Druid. I believe this is from Diablo. Just call it Druid Concept. What was it? S? Okay. Okay. Download. Minus that. Copy our Druid file. Okay, did it show up? Oh, there it is right there.
It's amazing how small the gizmo is. I move that down. Oh, I didn't want that way. There we go. Let's see, two more. These last ones are pretty large. I call this thumb armor. Let's call it armors. Thumbs, armors. Uh, T thumb armors. Boop. Alright. All right, let's do our last one. Look at that timeline. Click. All right. Where are you? Oh, that does not want to move right, does it? Anyway. <laughs> Seriously, what is your problem? Probably because that's so small. Okay, so let's review this. So all of them came in right, except this last one. So let's focus on the first one we did, which was the bunker. Let's change my ruler here. So that one was 640 pixels by 320 pixels. Should probably throw on some just to see where we're at here. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's make this a color we can see. Uh, how about ye? How about bright yellow. Does that get lost? Now yeah, we can kind of see it. So that imports fine. Next one we imported was this uh, Mech 1 from Battletech. What was it? It was 2560 pixels by 1440. It came in fine. Whoops. I can't even hardly click on that, it's so small. Really?
So that's a pretty decent size image. What one was that one? That was 3440 by 1440. Is that the exact same one? No, this one was a little bit smaller. I'm going to move on to this ridiculous one. Oh, that definitely gets lost. Um, we got a red. Oh, no, we don't want red. How about a green? That's still pretty decent size. Now, what one? Uh, what size was this one? 15,043 pixels by 600 pixels. It's a pretty decent size. Now, I just assuming that the reason why this last one didn't come in was we just we went too crazy. And this one was 47,750 pixels by 558. I mean, it gets down there. So all in all, I don't, this might just be a limit of the Brickling software itself. That is not really the tool we use to import it. But as far as I can tell, it will import probably most reference images or most size reference images that people would use. Also, if you look at the data files, you can see what some of the sizes are. Like that's three megabytes. That's half a meg, 14. That's six. And then the timeline one jumps up to 50. So it just might it just might be too much for Studio to handle. But I'm assuming with this you could set up uh I like I suppose if you wanted to build a car, you could probably build uh reference planes or crisscross them. If you can ever locate the gizmos. Uh, change that back. Oh, I need to be on that. That's right. So then you could spend you could spend a lot of time and I don't know. Is there? A... Probably bump that up. And then you could put another one here and you get all the access and then you could build like a three dimensional object. Oh yeah. And I forgot to mention, uh, I'm assuming that this just is a plane because whenever you flip it around, it's reversed. So that could be handy too for like mirroring. I just wanted to share this. I thought it was a neat tool. Um, I'll try to remember to put the link down in the description. Thank you.